Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Uh, we're halfway through the week. Today we're going to be talking about a project that's going to be assigned to you and you are going to have until Friday, May 15th to complete it. So that is nine full days. Um, that doesn't mean wait till the last minute. It is a big project. It's worth 40 points. Um, but for those of you that have been struggling with cells, this is a great way for you to practice um, and get the hang of what each part of a cell means. So I have a couple resources to share with you. The first thing I'm gonna share with you is the project itself. So we have, um, it is the Cell City Project. You'll see that it is due by Friday, May 15th. And your goal is to create a, a map of a city. Now it's not just this, any city like Jacksonville, it's a city that you're creating that represents a cell. So because we've been talking about what each thing or what each organelle inside of a cell does, and we've been relating it to uh, specific things inside of a city to help it make sense, you are going to be creating a cell city. So you are gonna be using metaphors comparing each of the organelles to structures in a city. Um, each of the organelles from the list need to be included, and I'll go over that. It must be clearly labeled, and there has to be a key. So I need to be able to see what each thing stands for. Um, so this is the way that you're going to be graded. You're going to be given two and a half points for the fact that your city has a name. Every city needs a name. So you can be, you can call it Jacksonville. You, I, yeah, I call mine Llamaville, Dalai Lama. You can call it. Um, Jag Town, or whatever you want. This is your chance to be creative. But you need to label your city so that um, we know where to find it. It needs to be creative. Don't just take some of the examples that I'm gonna show you today. I've graded these previous examples, so I'll know if you're taking, um, if you're just copying someone else's work. That's not creativity, it's not collaboration, it's cheating. So you need to know the difference between that. And it needs to be well-planned and neat. Uh, those of you who struggle with neat handwriting might want to type their labels or ask um, for help writing them or slow down what you're writing so that they're neat. Because if I can't read it, as you know, I can't grade it. It needs to be colorful. Um, I don't want to stare at 130 projects that are black and white and boring. Um, I want it to be colorful. Be excited about it. Show me that you were excited about it. All organelles from the list are clearly in, are included and clearly labeled. For example, the cell membrane equals the city limits or the border. Um, and the key is completed. Um, and the key is this paper down here. So these are all of your organelles that need to be included. You'll notice that um, you're gonna have to choose between a plant and an animal cell. So if you do a plant cell, it is gonna include all of these and the last three. If you're doing an animal cell, the last three won't be included. So it'll just be these guys. So again, if you're doing a plant cell, you need to include all 12. If you're doing an animal cell, you need to only include um, these nine. If you say you're doing an animal cell and you do these three, the vacuole, the chloroplast, and so on, we know that only plants have that, so you're gonna lose points. This is the paper that is really important. Um, even if you draw me a really beautiful city that's very labeled, I can't give you full credit without this paper. You get 15 points just for doing this paper correctly. So um, your construction team is your name. Um, so you're gonna put your name up there. The key is your name or your city, so I'll put like Llama now, right? So you'll put your, your city name, and you need to circle whether you're doing a plant or animal. That lets you know what organelles you're including. Now, when it talks about the cell city metaphor, this is where you can use what we've uh, been doing on our, um, our notes. So you can use uh, some of these that we took, and this is why it was important for you to have the cell city metaphors. Or you can use what we did in the study guide when we talked about them over on this side. So you can use those as a reference. That is, um, that's okay. I just want you to be creative in terms of well, where you, when you design your city. So um, 
the way that this needs to be formatted, this is super important. Your explanation, you need to put it in this format. A, the metaphor, is like a cell organelle because, so let's give you an example. We said earlier that the cell membrane is like the city limit. So we're gonna say the organelle is the cell membrane and our metaphor is allows things in and out. So this would be like a gate. So um, the explanation would say a gate metaphor is like a cell membrane because, and if you use our notes, if you use our notes, A cell membrane allows things in and out of a cell. So I could say a cell membrane or a gate is like a cell membrane because they both allow things in and out of a cell. You can use this one as an example, but um, the rest you need to do on your own. And it needs to follow this format or I'm going to take points off. Um, let me show you a couple examples uh, that will really help you and a video that will also help you as well. So um, on my website, and this is all under unit five, so DCSM, science six, weebly.com, and we're under unit five, you'll see my um, cell city example. So if you, if you need a paper, there's a cell city project. Um, here is my example of my llama bill of how you're expected to complete the, um, the assignment. So nucleus is like town hall. A town hall is like a nucleus because they both control everything. The DNA is like the llama library, again, with being creative. Llama library is like DNA because they both hold important information. So you'll notice on your paper, you need to include DNA and nucleus. And we included notes in that as well. And you can use mine as an example. What I would do is as I was filling this out, I would use this as a checklist and cross them off once I've uh, written about them down here so that I know I'm not missing anything. So um, here's a couple examples. So this is one that was done by a former student. You'll see that. Um, he typed all of his labels to make them clear. So there's the gate right there. The recycling plant is the lysosome. Um, the DNA is the mayor. And on his paper, and I didn't include that one, but on his paper, he explained all of those. You can't just turn this in. You have to turn the paper in as well. Um, but you can use these as examples. Here's another good one. Again, everything is labeled, it's colorful, um, it's very clear, it's well-designed, it's mapped out. You can tell he spent time on it. The only thing this uh, particular individual did not do is that you see that he says nucleus um, and town hall. So that's good. He labeled that the nucleus was the town hall. Um, but it was harder to follow. So like the mitochondria is JEA. What I would prefer that you guys do is what this student did and put the label on the, like the same label. So lysosome is the recycling plant instead of um, labeling the same thing in two different spots. So if he was gonna say mitochondria, he should put mitochondria slash JEA. Just to make sure it's very clear. Now the student did get an A, but again, I need to make sure that um, your labels are clear and easy to follow because I wanna give you as many points as possible especially if you've earned them and worked hard for them. So again, here is another, um, another great example. This person um, did a great job by saying like the dump is the lysosome. So you notice that the labels are together. It's very colorful, very clearly planned. The central vacuole is the cell mart because it stores water and food. Um, it, you could tell that they did a plant because they have a central vacuole, they have a cell wall. Um, they have the chloroplast, so you need to be clear. Um, they also called it the power 
plant, get it? Um, I love puns, and so any wordplay is also always awesome. But these are examples. You can also build it out of Legos. I've had somebody build one out of Legos, someone build it out of clay. Um, and you can film yourself um, explaining it. So if you don't want to draw it, that's okay, but you can build it as long as you still have labels and you film yourself presenting it clearly um, in a way that I can understand. So um, I also want to show you a video that will be really helpful to you understanding this. And you can watch this video as many times as you want for help. The city of Dunkirk, full of many people and buildings, all doing their jobs to make the city run smoothly. Cells are like a city because cells are made up of many different parts, each doing a specific job. The parts of the cell are called organelles. Town Hall is the first stop in our tour of the city. The Town Hall is like the nucleus because both are control centers. Town Hall controls the city and the cell's nucleus controls the cell. There's more to a cell than just its nucleus, and there's more to the city of Dunkirk than just Town Hall. So off we go. The next part of the city that's similar to an organelle is the power plant. The power plant is like a mitochondria because both make energy. The power plant makes energy for the city of Dunkirk, while the mitochondria makes energy that the cell needs. And we're off to the next part of the city to learn about the next organelle and its function. The city's water tower. Its job is to hold water. The water tower is like the vacuole because both hold water. The water tower holds water for the city of Dunkirk. The vacuole holds water inside of a cell. Just like the water tower, it saves it for a time when the cell needs water. Off to another part of the city to learn how it's similar to an organelle inside of a cell. Next stop is Washington Park. Washington Park is like the chloroplasts of plant cells. Washington Park is similar to this organelle because both go through a lot of photosynthesis. Washington Park has plants that perform photosynthesis. Chloroplasts are the part of the cell that has the ability to perform photosynthesis. It's important to remember that only plant cells have chloroplasts. Let's continue through the city and learn more similarities between cells and the city of Dunkirk. Here we are at the pier. Notice just off the end of the pier is the city's break wall. The break wall is like the cell wall because both support and protect. The city's break wall is a layer of rocks that prevent the waves from eroding our shore. We can compare the city's break wall to a cell's cell wall because both protect the things inside of them. The cell wall is a rigid layer of non-living material that surrounds the cell and helps protect what's inside. We're off to one last part of the city to see how it compares to an organelle inside of your body. 
We're about to leave the city of Dunkirk and head out through the toll booths. You see, the toll booths are similar to a cell's cell membrane. Both a toll booth and a cell membrane let things in and out. A toll booth lets things in and out of the city, while a cell membrane lets things in and out of the cell. Unlike the cell wall, which is only found in plant cells, the cell membrane is found in every type of cell. Cells in the city of Dunkirk, sharing many similarities. So you guys can also um, make a video, like I said, as long as you clearly explain, explain it. He was missing some organelles, um, if you notice, but your job is to include all of the organelles from the list and complete the worksheet accordingly. You will not have any other assignments um, next week. This is the only thing I want you working on. So you have today, the weekend, and next week to complete this. It is due Friday the 15th, that is next Friday by 4 p.m. Um, so there's no reason for anyone not to turn one in because you are giving ample time, especially because I'm not assigning other lessons. I will be hosting tutoring on uh, Tuesdays at three and Thursdays at nine for anyone that might have questions. Um, I will not be going over the answers. I will just be answering questions, specific questions about the project. Everyone is highly capable of this. You've been provided with several examples and you can also use my website. I'm here if you need me. Good luck, and I'm so excited to see what you guys do. Bye.